Hey everybody, it's Brick Waffle again, and we are back on episode 4 of Waffle Sauce, and today we have made some more progress off camera, and we are just about ready to make a bunch of progress together in today's episode. So let's start by taking a look at what we've got right in front of us, which is a cactus farm. Uh, this is pretty small, it's just 12 cactus over here, but what we can see is that we're using lanterns with chains hanging from them, and those chains are going to count as a block when the cactus grows, and it'll pop the cactus off of there. It's going to wash down into these hoppers, which is going to put it into the composter, that has a chance of getting a tick of compost, and then when it fills up, it's going to put bone meal into this chest at the bottom. So we've got 18 bone meal in there right now. And you can see this isn't really super fast, but it does work. And if we stand here long enough, I'm sure we'd see a cactus pop off and flow in there. It's basically random. Uh, we could also increase this in the future, and you could make this much, much bigger. And I might do that, depending on how much bone meal I want, because this is just passive. You just get bone meal, and you can use that for bone blocks for building. So that is something we might expand in the future. For now, it's just a little bit of bone meal to help us with our crops, and we'll see how it goes. I didn't want to make this huge just because it's right behind the house and it kind of stands out. But you may also notice something else looking in the top right corner here is, I have a mini-map. And that is something that I've kind of, uh, change my mind about oh there it goes we just had a little bit of bone meal uh, or cactus flow in there to make some bone meal there's another one coming in so you can see occasionally you see little green particles come down here and you'll see the item uh, but yeah I put the mini map on here I think that's gonna be okay it's it's not really vanilla it is using a fabric mod but it doesn't change the game other than lets me find things a little bit more easily and, and it also lets me do things like show you the world map so this can be a nice way for us to show progress as we go throughout the series and throughout the season you can see what's going on and yep we're gonna talk about that and these guys right here but the other important thing to note is we have a dark oak forest right up here and that is really helpful because it's given us a chance to get some dark oak trees I planted one over here and we're gonna need that for building up the village here in a little bit so speaking of which let's go ahead and go through here and we do have one building constructed so this first building is kind of a proof of concept of the design style I want to use. So I put this together, kind of playing around with it, went through a couple of iterations, but I think this is the style we want to use for the village. So these are all going to be similar buildings. We're going to use spruce planks, and this needs a little bit more detail. But for now, spruce planks, spruce logs, spruce trapdoors, so a lot of spruce wood inside. Uh, some oak flooring, and I have the zoom key back, some oak flooring inside there. And then a lot of stone brick for the trim around the bottom and the columns. And then we're going to use cobblestone and dark oak for the roof. Now you might notice that we have lanterns in a lot of places. That's because we now have a good supply of iron as well. If we go through here, you can see we have this iron and crop farm. So I mentioned uh, an episode or two ago that I was going to be building a farm from Avamance. I finally have done that here, so I'll link that in the description. And this is basically farming us up some carrots, potatoes, and wheat, as well as iron. And that iron is getting farmed from a trapped zombie in here with a name tag we get from fishing. And he's scaring these villagers. They're telling each other that we need to make a golem. And then the golem is getting pushed in a water stream into a little bit of lava up there. So it's a pretty simple farm. You can build this pretty easily. And it's all on the surface. It's a 23 by 23 farm, roughly, with a couple of pop-outs. But you can see it produces quite a bit of food. And this has only been running for a few hours after I put it together. So it is definitely going to be everything we need in terms of food, supplies, everything else. So what we need to do for today is really get all of the materials together. We need to get some stone bricks, we need to get a bunch of spruce wood, um, some cobblestone, which won't be a problem, and some dark oak. And I've started working on uh, a little bit of that off camera. We're going to get a bit more of it done together here. You can see we've got our furnace array in here, and this is just where we can take items from the top. You can see we've got them in the hoppers. It's going to cook those in the furnaces, which we're running low on charcoal and then drop this in the bottom. So this is going to let us make a bunch of stone bricks. Uh, we already have a bunch of cobblestone. We do have a fair amount of spruce logs, but we're going to need to clear out more of that. And then we're also going to need to get some sand smelted up in the glass. So all of that's going to be no problem at all for us to do today. Let's go ahead and sleep first, because it's getting to be dark. And before we go chopping down a bunch of trees and harvesting up a bunch of sand, we do want to use some of the other materials that we've gained from our adventures off camera here. I want to grab some of our diamonds and make some diamond armor. So let's turn that on and I think we're going to make boots and a helmet and we'll go ahead and make a chest piece for now. We do have our diamond pickaxe. I think I'm going to make a diamond shovel 
and a diamond axe. That's going to be really helpful. Still got 19. Make a diamond sword too. And yeah, we'll go ahead and make the chest plate for now. So we've got some diamonds left over. And we'll put our sticks in this one. And now what we need to do is enchant a lot of gear. The reason I'm not making leggings is because I want to keep the gold leggings uh, in case we end up going and doing some nether adventures. I don't want to get attacked by piglins. So here we go. We can put this in here. Let's start with our diamond pick. See if we can get... Mmm, efficiency four. Yeah, bummer. That's all we got on that one. What about our shovel? Oh, of course the shovel gets fortune three. <laughs> I'm not sure that really helps at all on the shovel. Uh, let's see about the axe. Just efficiency four. Our diamond sword. Oh, sharpness four. I'll take that. And then our helmet. Okay, unbreaking three and aqua affinity. That's not bad. Our boots. Depth strider three. All right, so we're making up for it with the armor. Uh, and just projectile protection three, because we're running a little bit low on levels now. So that's going to be just fine for us, though. For now, we'll get much better armor in the future, but this is going to keep us alive a little longer, and it's still better than what we had before, even if it doesn't have mending or unbreaking on some of these tools. We'll go ahead and get some books from villagers at some point, and that's going to help a lot. So for now, let's stick our extra armor back in here, along with our extra tools. Let's just stick all that there. There we go. So now we've got our original set of iron armor and iron tools. We've got some gold, and we can put our lapis back. And that gives us everything we need to go ahead and get started on chopping down some trees and digging up some sand. I also finalized the uh, the entrance to our ravine over here, so we put just some diorite and some blackstone. But now we have a water drop down to the mining level and a soul sand bubble elevator since we've been to the nether and got some kelp. So that makes it really easy to drop down there, do whatever mining we need, and then shoot right back up here. We can get our, our free uh, ink whenever we need to, just from squid that are nearby. But for now, I think it's going to be a lot more chopping of spruce trees, and I don't want to take out everything in the village. I think I'm going to go back behind the village and start working on that. So let me chop down a bunch of trees, and I'm going to get a bunch of sand smelting up, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, so we have tons of materials gathered now. I've got a chest full of spruce logs. We've got stone bricks, stone brick stairs, walls, slabs. Uh, we have another one back here with all the cobblestone stairs, blocks, slabs, glass panes, lanterns, dark oak, basically everything we're going to need for this village, uh, more or less. The one exception is some scaffolding. It is a real pain to have to kind of pillar up here and build this without some scaffolding blocks. So before we start on this project, we are going to go off and look for... Uh, some bamboo so we can start a bamboo farm and maybe maybe we'll also have to get either a sheep farm going or some kind of spider farm but we need to go to the nether first and see if we can find some kind of nether fortress or bastion or something like that where we might be able to get a bamboo drop so we're going to do some adventuring and then we're going to come back and work on that project uh, once we can get at least a stack or two of scaffolding up and running but if we can get a single piece of bamboo we can grow the rest of it from there and looks like we need to confirm the world map for this area, so let's go ahead and confirm that. And this is going to be a little bit cheaty because we're going to get to see, with that exception, most of what's going on. So it does look like that plus shape up there is probably a fortress. Um, but we are in the middle of a huge set of soul sand area. Um, and I don't see a bastion nearby. I'm not sure I'll be able to make it all the way over here without some elytra. So we are going to go ahead and just head northwest and see how far we get. And <laughs> we'll, we'll take it from there. This may just be a chance for us to kind of explore the nether a little bit and not actually get anything back from it in terms of you know, new loot. But I think there's a chance for bamboo to drop in these chests. The other thing that we can do um, is look for jungles. I didn't see any on our map here. It doesn't mean there aren't any jungles, but uh, it's going to be a little bit trickier for us to find those. So for now, I think it's just going to be going through here. And we do have tons of skeletons around, too. So we're going to have to be real careful of that, because we do not yet have a bow. Uh, magma cubes? Eh, that could be useful. I just want to be careful when we're going this way. Is that... Ooh, that's going to be a big drop. Let's see if we can go sneak around a little bit. This might be a bit easier for us to do this way. Uh... Hmm... I don't like any of that. Hmm. We're going to have to go over there at some point. So let's start by just coming down here a little bit. 
And we got Depth Strider, but not Feather Falling, so I don't think we're going to make that jump without kind of pillowing down a little bit. Let's go ahead. Oop, hello, skeleton. Alright, let's get you. There we go, now he's gone. Let's get down here somehow, so we can get the sand blocks, or soul sand blocks out. Oop, we got a ghost block there, it looks like. There it goes. And we got one there, too. Alrighty. So now we have to find a nice way to come down here and just make ourselves a small, safer platform. That's going to be a little bit better. Those guys out of here. And now that we have our diamond tools, this is going to be a lot easier. Alright. So now we got that. We can come across here. And hopefully up on this side we're going to be able to make a little bit more progress. But one thing to never take for granted in the nether is that you've got a safe place to land. Always look down before you jump, even a small gap, because you could end up at a lava lake. And that's no good for anybody. Alright, so we've got... let's see. It's alright, we can get some more blackstone and basalt while we're out here. We've got enough magma blocks, I think, at the moment. Just from being doing some of the uh, underwater exploration early on. See if we can get across here. There we go. Nah, that's not too bad. A little stairway. And we do have the ability to get some magma creams if we needed them. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. I don't see any real pressing need for that at the moment. But given, given how treacherous this little area is, you never know. Let's crouch over that. Let's check our map while we're standing here. That's definitely fortress area, so we just need to keep going northwest. We're going to find another fortress eventually. Alright. There's glowstone. Do we go up or down? Ooh, I don't like this. Let's uh, make that a little bit safer and just go up here. I think up is easier, because we can always dig down. It's a little simpler to dig a uh, stairway down than it is to try to pillar up or dig up through something. Especially with the way that lava flows into the nether, I'd rather always be able to see what's happening. Oh, this is going to be tricky. And speaking of digging up, this is pretty much what we're going to have to do here. Nope, oh, and that is exactly what I was concerned about. Oh, hello. No, 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 don't. Don't push me in the lava. Alright, that's, uh, that's a little scary. What are you doing down there, buddy? There you go. No magma creams after all that, huh? Alright, so we've got to find a better way up here. And hope that we don't end up with any other lava. That's looking better. Nope, nope. I spoke too soon. Is that going to come towards me? It's not. Alright. There we go. These lava pools in the basalt columns always make this tricky. Alright, so far so good. Alright, now we're back up here. That's better. Oh, man. How we doing? We're making it. We need to go... Whoa! We need to go mostly just west. Man, he got... Oh, there was two of them. Thought I had more time than that. Man. I really wish I had some fire protection. Of all the items that we got for our enchantments, that's one thing we didn't get. Let's see. Now that we got some magma cream this time. some bread, because we do get kind of hurt by those slimes, magma cubes. And how are we going to get over there? Alright, that's better. Uh, hmm. Well, looks like basalt down there. Can we get up this way? Maybe. 
end up with a fair amount more basalt and blackstone over this way, but that's alright. We can always use that for building project stuff. Oh, hello. Let's see where you're gonna go. Let's go this way instead. Oop. Uh, that was just the magnet block. And I should never dig overhead in the nether. Because you never know when you're gonna find another lava blade like that. Oh man, there's lots of lava over here. Hmm. Sure, there's nothing about to attack us. Really do need to get across that. That looks like it's going to be a lot of lava. But that is the way to go. Hmm. Maybe we are going to have to retreat back down here and look for a lower crossing. Ooh, that's scary. Oop. Man, that was almost really bad. Alright, so let's come up here. Can I get over there? That looks like that would go up and around. Okay. Maybe we can go out that way and get it get up there. From here. At least we've got our efficiency for diamond pick. That does make clearing this out a lot faster. across the magma as long as we're crouched without taking damage. Here we go. Now we're on the other side of it. Alright. Um, let's go across here. Let's just try to get back up the top of this formation this way. There we go. Alright, so now we're headed the right way again. And we need to go that way. Ooh, wow. A little bit of parkour action here. There we go. Let's eat some bread again. Oh, uh, nope. Not jumping that gap. Oof, this is getting ugly. I don't like the jump that I'm about to have to make here. Oop, okay, we made it. We made it. That was intense. And I see, of course, we gotta deal with this magma cube now. Oop, man, he's, he jumps a lot. There we go. He can't get down in here until he's smaller. guys. There we go. Uh, hmm. Yeah, these guys are eventually going to come up here and annoy me too. Let's get them now. Come on. Get out of there. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now we need to actually go a little southwest. Man, this is really tricky. Alright. One thing I don't really like doing is just tunneling at full speed through netherrack, because then you're going to really run into some lava in a hurry. Let's see if we can dig our way back up. going to do is I'm just going to keep making progress this way, and I will come back to you guys as soon as we have a clear sight of the portal. Alright, wish me luck. Alright, there we go. So now we can see the fortress in the distance, and we're going to have to deal with a few magma cubes, but that's not going to be a problem. Ow. Come on, guy. Alright, well, maybe it's not going to be a problem. hope it's not going to be a problem. Let's just, let's just leave those guys over here for now. Uh, what we are going to have to do is dig into the fortress itself. And that's going to be probably best in one of these areas, where we can kind of just dig straight into the fortress, make our own little staircase up. And there are a lot of cubes out here. But for now, I think, yeah, let's just do this. Let's just dig up into the fortress. There shouldn't be any lava on these edges. 
And this should give us a good, clear path into here. And, man, I really like the new nether brick sounds that they added in 116. That's, that sounds a lot better than it used to when you're breaking these things. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's that edge. Let's see if we can get over here. There we go, now we got the advancement. And we're in pretty good shape. Oh, hello, right away, wither skeleton. Alright. No wither skeleton skull on our first skull. Skeleton skull? Guy with the bones? Yeah, that's the one. So, that's alright. Didn't really expect that. But now we can kind of go through here and see if we can find some loot. And that's really what we're going to be after is any kind of loot in here that's going to help us. Uh, ideally, some bamboo would be amazing. But honestly, I'd take a lot of different kinds of loot at this point. There's still a lot of stuff that we don't have easy access to. And some nether wart wouldn't be bad either, since we do have our brewing station already. We could potentially make some potions that way. Easy access to soul sand, because our portal is in the soul sand valley. Yeah, there's some blazes. We don't have fire protection, so we do have to be careful about these guys. There we go, we got blaze rock. Yup, and right as soon as I said that, I stopped blocking appropriately. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. Just the one blaze rod, though. That's unfortunate. We can, uh, we can definitely set up a farm for these guys in the future. Not real worried about that. I'd like to get at least a couple blaze rods. Uh, but I think I might come back and farm that towards the, the end of today's episode if we get some time. Let's keep looking for now. I'm really looking for those chests. So let's go back up this way. Oh, hello. Sneaky, he looks like the same color as the ceiling there. Camouflage wither skeletons. We have to be real careful because we're down to four hearts. There's a regular skeleton up there. Not as scary. There we go. Sharpness 4 does a pretty good job, and if I had some blocks on my hotbar, I'd be able to take out those wither skeletons pretty quickly, too. Let's put that coal up here. There's some more wither skeletons. Speaking of which, let's get some blocks on the hotbar. Hey, guys. What's up, boys? There's three of you down here, right? But you're too tall to get under this bridge. So we'll just, uh, we'll let you get over here and get smacked. There we go. What about you two down here at the end? Yep, there we go. Come on. Now, if only I had looting on this sword, that'd be really helpful. I don't think fortune's gonna work if I try to hit it with a fortune shovel. Yep, that's alright. We're still getting some coal and some bones. There's another blaze spawner. Man, this place is a bit of a maze, isn't it? Looks like those are both dead ends. Our zombified piglin. Haven't seen any regular piglins actually, but I, we haven't really been in an area where they spawn a lot. They don't spawn in Soul Sand Valleys uh, or Basalt Deltas, which looks like that's probably still where we are, right? Yeah, we're still in the Basalt Delta. So there's a few things that will spawn just because of the fortress itself, but some of the regular mobs won't spawn in here. Here's some zombified piglins. I'm, I'm ignoring the gold and the quartz for now. I, we can come back and mine later on. Let's just uh, let's just check down each of these hallways. So there's the plus on our map that we saw earlier. I think okay, good. This does have a little bit of an intersection. Not sure. Oh no, it doesn't go anywhere though. All right. Let's uh. Stop sprinting because we are now out of food. Okay, well, gonna have to do a little bit of looking around. I said let's stop sprinting and then I'm doing it out of habit anyway. There's a regular blaze. That's the end of that one. Hmm. Sneak over here. It looks like this is going to be a dead end, too. There may not be any chests in this fortress. So, I think that's probably it. 
and it's an unfortunate way to whoop, to end, but we are just about out of time for today's episode. So I think that is where we're going to leave it. I'm just going to come peek over here. Hopefully you guys like this episode. I know we got all the materials we need. In the next episode, we're going to start with uh, some building. But if you did like it, make sure you hit that like button. If you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe. And as always, I've been Brickwaffle. Thank you for watching.